What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony and I am smiling on this one because this thing is friggin' awesome looking. This is the new 2019 Volkswagen Arteon. We are in this one today courtesy of Hanover Volkswagen and Hanover PA. So let me just jump right into it because I want to touch on everything about this brand new car for the US. Replacing the Volkswagen CC as always, let's start with pricing. I'd say there will be several different trim levels for the 2019 Arteon. First one being the SE starting at $35,845. Then the SE with the four motion all wheel drive system for $37,645. SEL with the four motion for $41,795. SEL R line, that one starts at $43,560. And the SEL premium R line all wheel drive, the one we have today. This one is gonna start at $46,210. But regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plant on the Arteon will be the same. Powering this beast is going to be a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 268 horsepower, 5,500 RPM, 258 pound feet of torque available around 1,900 RPM. Power is sent again to the front wheels or all wheels, being that four motion all wheel drive system through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters, which you know we will definitely be testing out a little later in the video here. But so then when you add all of that up together, zero to 60 time is gonna come in at approximately 5.8 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 22 in the city, 31 on the highway, which is actually pretty good for a larger sedan. But so that before we do any kind of crazy accelerations, I did wanna mention there is a drive mode button just to the left of the shifter. When you press that, the Arteon is gonna give you eco, comfort, normal, sport, and custom. And so what those driving modes will actually do is adjust things like the throttle response, the shift points, and actually the steering sensitivity as well. And I will say having just put it in that sport driving mode, the steering feel is definitely quite nice, a nice weight to it. Not too heavy, but definitely not too loose. It is probably just the right steering feel for this car if there is such a thing. But in addition to that, the drive modes will adjust one more thing actually, being the adaptive damper adjustments. And yes, RTN does come with an adaptive damping suspension. So that is definitely nice. And so what that essentially is going to do is monitor each shock absorber individually, not only giving you a smoother ride, reading the road's imperfections, but also tightening up the suspension around heavy cornering when it detects heavy cornering, giving you better handling as well. So really best of both worlds. But I wanted to mention it because that will actually come standard on all trim levels of the Arteon. And so, but now with that being said, let's go ahead and test out the paddle shifters. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put the shifter all the way to the back and to the right. That is gonna give me that full manual shifting mode where the car is not gonna shift for me. I'm gonna have full control and let's test out the paddle shifters along with the acceleration. See how quickly they react for us here and see how quickly we can get this turbo four cylinder here up to speed. Okay, so paddle shifters are definitely lightning quick. Absolutely no issues there. The acceleration, I kind of felt like the Jetta GLI was faster. And I know when it comes to the numbers, they're about the same, but I think with the weight of the Arteon, I think it's just a little bit heavy for the engine setup that it's got. Although it's definitely quick, I can't say that it's slow, it's just, I feel like it went a little more. If I were Volkswagen, I'd probably offer a twin turbo V6 or something like that for the future, but still, most definitely no issues with merging onto the highway in the Arteon. But so then to go along with that acceleration, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 13.4 inch ventilated front discs in the back, 12.2 inch solid rear discs. And as far as the braking feel goes, definitely has a good bite to it. Absolutely no issues with the braking feel. It definitely brings you to a stop pretty quickly. Touching on suspension a little bit, this Arteon actually rides on Volkswagen's MQB transverse architecture, which gives the Arteon a stiffer structure. But touching on the specs up front, you will get an independent McPherson strut front suspension in the back, an independent rear suspension. And again, as I previously mentioned, there is an adaptive damping suspension system for all trim levels of the Arteon. Again, I emphasize that because that is definitely a good thing. And when it comes to the ride quality, probably because of that, I've really had no issues with the ride quality in the Arteon. Definitely soaking up Pennsylvania's road imperfections quite well. Handling and the steering feel has definitely been quite nice as well. But perhaps the first thing I noticed when I got in this one, it is definitely a quiet cabin. Not even have a moonroof on this one, which a lot of times will let in some exterior noises into the cabin, but really, with the RTN, I've had no issues. Most definitely a quiet cabin in this thing, and when it comes to visibility, it is a bit of a sloped kind of fastback type of design in the back, so it's not gonna be quite as good as the Jetta or the Passat or something like that, but still, it is still a sedan, so I've had no issues there, but, 
Enough of the driving dynamics, you guys. Let's check out the exterior now of this new 2019 Volkswagen Arteon. And so starting up front on this one, there will be LED headlights with LED daytime running lights that will actually come standard across the board. Automatic feature will also come with that, meaning when it starts to get dark out, the headlights will turn on automatically for you there. Also, you will find R-Line badging since we do have the R-Line trim level today. So that's gonna be located in the front grille there as well. Then making our way to the side, I can't help but think this thing looks strikingly similar to the Audi A7. It is definitely a A7S silhouette, if you will, but that is definitely a good thing though, because the A7 is a good looking car. Take a look at the side mirrors. They will come body colored, power adjustable side mirrors with integrated turn signals as well. And they will actually come heated for all trim levels too, if you're interested. Also do like the design cue in the front fender area, and that is gonna be tagged with the R-Line insignia if you went with that trim level. Take a look down at the wheel setup. 18 inch alloys will come with the SE and SEL. However, if you went with the R-Line trim level, that will give 20 inch alloy wheels there and make your way to the back led tail lights again standard across the board well done volkswagen there just below all of it dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips so you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So, but now since we are round back to up in that rear hatch, there actually is a button on the key fob. So if you like, just simply press that. And there is actually a hands-free trunk available. And I do of course have that today. So that's definitely quite nice. And then the Arteon, just like the Volkswagen Golf to open that rear trunk, another option is through the Volkswagen emblem in the back there. I absolutely love that. Anyways, once opened up, cargo capacity is gonna come in at 27.2 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there's your seats do fold down. There's a 60-40 split for a good bit of extra space there if you needed it. Make your way to the rear legroom. That comes in at 40.2 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. There is also rear climate control for the rear passengers as well. That's part of the three zone climate control system that comes standard across the board. And those rear passengers will also find a rear armrest with cup holders back there as well. And make our way to the front seats. They are power adjustable. They will come with a VTEX leather at finish and heated. That is going to be the standard setup at least. If you went with the SEL trim level and up, that seating will change to a full leather setup of course L meaning leather and if you want with the SEL premium that we have today you will actually get a massaging driver seat and also ventilated front seats as well so after a long day's work it's always nice to have a little massage on the drive home right to take a look up front there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel will come leather wrapped for all trim levels also it will come heated if you go with the SEL premium trim level that we have today and but so then when it comes to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here there is a little extra added chrome on this particular key comparatively speaking to the other Volkswagen keys that I have reviewed I don't review keys I review cars but you guys know what I'm saying there is the Volkswagen logo on the one side and when you flip it over lock unlock the button to pop the rear hatch and that times two button there in the middle that is actually a remote start and that is gonna come with the R-line trim leveling up and therefore that is of course why we have it today but there is keyless access with a push button start that will actually come standard on all trim levels so what I'm gonna do is simply just put my foot on the brake and press the engine start button which is located just to the left of the shifter there and so but then once started up if you're curious how I got this Volkswagen digital cockpit that is going to come with the SEL trim level and up and once again strikingly similar to Audi's virtual cockpit really basically the same thing you can display the navigation front and center like you're seeing now and you can also change up how big that navigation display is it's going to shrink the gauges or make the gauges bigger you can change all sorts of things it doesn't have to be the navigation you can also check out your radio settings Bluetooth information different driving statistics there's all kinds of things really you could check out with the digital display but really the navigation is my favorite at least but take a look at overall interior quality ambient interior lighting will come standard with the SEL trim level and up also with the SEL and up you're gonna get a panoramic sunroof along with an electronic parking brake and if you want with one of the R-line trim levels you will also get stainless steel pedal caps and scuff plates and a black headliner to go along with it and overall I'm definitely a fan of the interior quality actually I always like to mention with Volkswagen's there is a frame rear view mirror I'm always a big fan of that it's a very clean look also just above the tech display and really across the dash here the air vents are kind of tied in across the board I don't know how else to explain it but definitely a nice clean look up front there once again but
But since I had mentioned it, let's check out the tech display on this one. 8 inch color touchscreen display is actually once again going to come standard across the board. Bluetooth and audio streaming will come with that, along with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Standard for every single trim level. That's definitely nice. Factory navigation system is going to come with the SEL trim level and up. And of course, you can check out your radio information up there. And so when it comes to the sound system, if you want with any trim level but the SEL premium, you will get eight speakers. However, if you want with that SEL premium that we have today, SEL premium R line to be specific, you will get a 12 speaker DYN audio. Not sure if it's pronounced or just say it by the letters, but DYN audio premium sound system that's going to come with 700 watts. That is what we have today. So you guys know what we have to do. Let's turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> the bass in this thing is ridiculous. I bet you my camera was bouncing, but that was insane. Definitely enough speakers, plenty of a sound system for the RTN. But so then last thing I wanted to mention on the tech display is when you do put this thing in reverse, you will get a rear view camera for every single trim level. And in addition to that, if you went with the SEL premium, you will also get a overhead view camera. So a little extra visibility there. But as always, that is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags. In the back, there is latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also standard is a tire pressure monitoring system and all trims are actually also gonna give you rain sensing windshield wipers and auto dimming rear view mirror, blind spot monitor, forward collision warning with autonomous emergency braking. And if you want with the SEL trim level and up, you will also find adaptive cruise control and an adaptive front lighting system as well. Hey, right, so but that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like the video and subscribe feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and i will see you guys in the next video stay gold